I'm going to go over cracked turbine housings, what to look for, and how do you determine if it's usable or not. This one's kind of bad. This one's the worst I've seen. This one's perfect, but it's rusted out real bad. So these are kind of things that you want to take in consideration, consideration if you send something in for machine work. So this one, you can see it's cracked on that divider right there. You can also see some cracks right here. But I'm not really that worried about these as I am some of the other ones. There's one there. I'll show you what I'm worried about. When you have cracks on the flange here, that's when the gasket will no longer seal. So you'll keep having to replace exhaust manifold gaskets. So that you really need to watch out for. There's also some cracking in here. In this case, this guy really should replace this housing. Here's one that is in really bad shape. This turbine housing was sent to me for me to do some machine work. I was telling the guy, I don't think it's really worth machining. You can see all these lines here. It's just completely cindered, like it looks like a piece of firewood. Pieces of the housing are falling off, dropping into the turbine blade, and damaging the turbine wheel, causing it to eventually go out of balance and leak oil as a result. You can see it's split really bad at that divider there. It's also cracked right here at the bearing where the bearing housing meets. It's probably going to be hard to machine this even if I wanted to. Just because this is probably out of alignment by now. So I can't line it up as easy as if it wasn't. The front of it's cracked really bad. See, that's almost split all the way through. This is completely cracked all the way through to the other side. It's centered up real bad in here. It, you know, it still looks like this firewood kind of look here, where it's just got all these small cracks all the way through it. This isn't very common for it to happen like that. This is a case for most likely what happened here was somebody had a VGT problem, the nozzle was stuck in the closed position or in between closed or close to it. The guy just keeps running it and ignores that there's a problem and this is kind of the result. You have to replace the housing or replace the whole turbo. I received this one as a core a couple years ago and I didn't end up wanting to use it just because how badly rusted it is. The thing I worry about with the rust is when you start missing quarter inch or eighth inch chunks of steel or iron on there then eventually it could potentially b blow a hole through the, the exhaust and bust through the housing. See this one I don't think it really even has any cracks in it. It may have a small one right there. It's very tiny. This one, if it wasn't rusted so bad, that would be a good housing to use. I don't see any cracks on the flange anywhere. This one just had so much rust, it was hard for me to even get it all off. And it ended up just giving up on it. Kind of just determining that I don't think this is really worth fixing. Well, if it starts cracking through the flange, usually the exhaust gaskets are going to go bad pretty often. So I wouldn't use it if it has any cracks on the flange here. If it's cracked up in this divider here, it really just depends on how bad it is. If it's not in that bad of shape, you could, you'd be better off just running it because it can crack there, but if you go and do the repair on it and don't run it so hot as some of these people do, then it's going to still last a long time. The main cause of the problem here is people getting their EGTs too hot and it causes issues. 
Now, if you repair the turbo like it should be and don't get your EGTs too hot, the turbine house is going to last a lot longer 